Hi, Grace Church. This is Pastor Tim with this week's video update. I want to encourage us to continue to pray for Ukraine during this very significant time in history. I had an opportunity to be in that country in the fall of 2013. I uh, had a chance to minister in a church in a small community called Kamenka. It's just south of Cherkasy. Cherkasy is a community of about a quarter of a million people with a major university. And uh, both of those communities, Cherkasy and Kamenka, are south of Kiev, the capital city of about five million people. Kiev is a beautiful, beautiful city. And as I've seen pictures coming out of Ukraine, I have found myself grieving as I remember uh, the people that I met there, as I remember some of the beauty of that country. Um, and I was sent this week from friends in the church in Kamenka pictures from their worship gathering this past Sunday. They were on their knees before God, worshiping him and crying out to him on behalf of their country, praying for peace, seeking mercy from God during this time. That picture of a congregation on their knees is a compelling picture. It's a picture that I pray would uh, mark more fellowships around the world, including here in the United States and uh, including here in Delta County. Um, our students, our senior high and middle school uh, students, they are involved in a project right now, a practical project, a project of compassion aimed at coming alongside a missionary family in Ukraine who are serving in an orphanage. That orphanage is only 20 minutes from the eastern border of Ukraine, and on that eastern border, border is Russia. Um, and what we uh, are aiming to do, uh, led by our students is to try to provide clothing for the children in that orphanage. Um, this Sunday, if you haven't already signed up to participate in this project, this Sunday, you could go to a table in the lobby and we'll, there will be students there who would help you to uh, learn how you could help pay for a box of clothing that could go to the children in this orphanage. Or perhaps you would like to provide clothing for children in that orphanage. Our students um, have pictures of children with their names and some of their specific needs at this time. Anne and I have the pictures of a couple of those children up on our refrigerator um, as a reminder to us to be praying for them. Just grateful for the leadership of our students and, uh, and their adult leaders, including Pastor Jordan, in this special project at this time. Um, pray for Ukraine. Let's pray for a mighty work of God, an unexplainable work of God right now in that country and throughout Eastern Europe at this time in history. And this Sunday at Grace, Pastor John Potts is going to be preaching. We're going to be continuing our series that we're calling uh, Closing Crescendo in the Upper Room. Uh, John is going to be helping us to look at the end of John 14, beginning at verse 15. It's a powerful passage where Jesus is uh, telling his disciples he's going to be leaving, but they won't be left alone, that the Holy Spirit would be sent to them. Look forward to uh, uh, looking at that passage this week as Pastor John uh, teaches in our Sunday morning worship gathering. Pastor Dave is planning to lead our worship team as we looked to God, uh, as we singed to God in worship. And then we are going to uh, be coming to the communion table this Sunday and remembering that sacrifice of Jesus, that most poignant expression of love, where he offered his body, shed his blood on our behalf as an atoning sacrifice for our sin. Hope you can be with us this Sunday morning, Grace Church. You're very loved. Blessings on you through today and the rest of this week.